Hello everyone and welcome to another showcase session. My name is Hal and in today's episode we're going to be editing this landscape photo. As usual, uh, the link to download the photo is in the description below. You can uh, download it and try your hand at editing it yourself. In a recent poll on the channel, you voted the Filmic RGB as the most useful module in Darktable. And to showcase that, I've chosen this photo with a very wide dynamic range. As you can see, the bottom is too dark because we have the sunlight coming from behind the mountains here. So we're going to see what we can do with it. And thanks everyone who voted on that and who usually interacts and comments. Much appreciated. Before we crack on, I'm starting a new series where I'll be editing your photos. The point is you submit your photo with your edit, then I edit it without looking at your edit first. I will compare both edits and try to learn from both of them. If you'd like to submit your photo, there will be details in the first comment below. Alright, let's start then. First, I'm going to see if we need to crop it. It's a bit difficult to check because it's so dark here, but I don't like those. I'll try to cut them a bit and we'll see how much we can get rid of. Let's see, if any. It's on freehand. Let's leave it on original image. Yeah, I can't get rid of this completely, but I think like that. I can maybe retouch it later. What do you think? Mm, let's put a guide. Actually, I would like this to be as close to the one-third as possible. Hmm. Which is mainly what the main photo was, so... Let's see. Like this. We have more to retouch, but I think it works better. Alright. Can hide the grid. Next, let's fix the white balance. It's not that bad, I think, but let's see. Color calibration. This daylight. I'm going to use the AI method and see what we can get. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. A bit, a bit less blue. And seeing as I would probably going to add some warmth in here. Uh, that's fine. This one works. Alright, next. Exposure. Since we're going to be fixing the range using the Filmic RGB. Oh, let's change this one then. As I was saying, since we're going to fix the dynamic range in Filmic, first I'm going to start with the exposure and change it to expose for the midtones. Let's make this one a bit smaller. Let me see more of the gray around it. And let's see. Is that much? No, I think it's... Let's see, we'll start with this. I think it's quite well exposed now. Okay, move on to Filmic. And the first thing I'm going to do is recover some of those highlights that we crushed here. All right, I think that's fine. I don't think we need to touch the black point very much. Yeah, that's good. Okay, 
next we're going to reconstruct all throughout the video there will be links to the separate videos on each module from the dark table from A to Z series so you could go and check these if you need more information about the module that we're using okay that's good but since we have some color information I'm going to move this a little bit towards texture fine and maybe in the options add a couple of iterations what does it look like looks good I think not gonna touch anything else I think midtone saturation will add in color later on this we don't need to touch reconstruct we did okay so let's see what did we do now with filmic that was after the color calibration and that's after the exposure and filmic all right so far so good okay I would like to change a bit of the lighting I think this shelter here and this area can have a bit more artificial Sun let's say let's do that in the tone equalizer maybe I'll select the area that I was talking about we'll see how that works if it works let's center the graph we don't need to see this we don't where is it oh, it's around here okay going to raise it a bit make sure this stays on zero a little bit more maybe that's a bit too much we'll see let's feather it And what did we do? Yeah, I like that. Maybe a bit more feathering. Yeah. All right, let's darken the front a little bit. Ah, the front, you know, the bottom of the image, the foreground. I'll add another tone equalizer module and put a mask around these maybe we can darken the stones a bit we still have to retouch them I think but we'll see okay center it still around here let's see feather it yeah let's see what did we do here we go that's filmic before we you know dodged and burned and that's after yeah I think that works okay what next well let's change the color a bit We can guess where the shadows and highlights will be, but let's have a look. So here are the shadows, mainly here. Highlight is the sky and the top of this mountain. Well, our midtones will be a bit everywhere. Fine. Okay. So in the shadows, it's green. I'm just going to add a little bit more of a yellowish green just a bit okay but in the highlights I'm going to put orange and maybe a bit more yeah let's add some global chroma too much maybe I 
can add a bit in the highlights separately. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Let's see. Without it, with it, a lot warmer. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I think before we continue, I'm going to get rid of these. I don't particularly like them. Let's see if the retouch module would help us get rid of them. Work its wonders. Let's see. No. And uh, where? Well, no, we changed the lighting between here and it's too close. Let's try to get it from here and see if that helps. Well, that would, except I don't know what I did here. I should cover it. Okay. yeah that looks okay tell you what maybe first i'll get rid of this and then we can copy from this area we'll see if that helps oh what's funny it's copying it before this one Maybe because we put it first. Let's try again. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that works. Okay. Another couple of small ones. I don't know. Let's uh, fix that. It's too close. Now from here maybe. And this one. Oh, we could keep this one maybe. But right, what do we have? Why is this one so white? Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, I'm just going to enable the denoise module I don't think there's a lot of noise in the well, there isn't any so that's just because we're going to now use the diffuse or sharpen and I'm not going to start by adding a denoise module because I think it's going to take a lot of the details in the grass of course we can fix that but since it's still not needed I'm going to ignore it for now if we introduce lots of noise then we can go back and have a look just going to use a preset and add some contrast let's see what that did I think that's good enough we don't need to add anything right no I think that's enough contrast I'll add another one and I think I would want to add a dehaze. Yeah, all right. But I think the effect is quite okay here and then it becomes too much. All right. Let's try and add a mask. I'm going to add a gradient. Put it around here. Yeah, that helped. 
Let's see what we did now. Yeah, I think that works. That is good. Compress it and see what else we need to do. What else, what else? I think that's now fine. Let's take a snapshot and see what we did from after the crop. Take a snapshot and we'll finish until we'll finish. We'll we'll wait until it finishes working. Yeah. And then here we go. That's the photo as it was and that's all we could recover from it especially using the Fermi the filmic RGB module there you go I hope that you found this video interesting and entertaining if you have any questions suggestions or requests please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time bye bye